Black Coffee Gallery started in 2007 when uh, Benjamin, my friend, and talk about this idea that he had. Uh, he wanted to show the people his collection of art, which is magnificent, and to serve, to offer the people a good food, the best dishes of Oaxaca, and especially a good coffee. Black Coffee Gallery Foundation has a very important goal in mind, which is to help underprivileged children in Mexico. To see Black Coffee Gallery materialized in Mescalina here in Chicago, it's not only exciting for me, it's, I'm very proud because it's not only one restaurant that shows the art of Mexico, it's like an embassy of our town, of our country, that it will be open for the people so they can know about our roots, our culture, our traditions, our art. It's a dream that comes true. Faith's house is the perfect setting for a summer garden party with sprawling lawns, all kinds of space for cocktails and dinner stations. Absolutely perfect. One of my favorite details of this entire party, and there are so many favorite details, is the chocolate bar. Is this a teenager's fantasy come true or what? It was so elegant and so beautiful, but it was also a graduation party. Everyone's here just to celebrate the fact that she's come this far through everything she's been through. I mean, she deserves it. You know, she and I are definitely very close, and, you know, she's just a sweetheart. She's really a special person, and it is so beautiful inside and out, and, you know, I couldn't think of a better person to throw this beautiful party for. The weather is changing on us. The clouds are rolling in just like the Weather Channel said they would. So I think we need to go to plan B for the chocolate bar. So we have to figure out where we can move it to inside. We had a rain emergency and had to scramble to get all the dessert inside, but we made it safely. We designed interactive food stations based on Faith's favorite foods that would appeal to all ages at the party. All of these beautiful, elegant DIYs are so easy, anyone can do them in five steps or less. Muddle it up real nicely, fill it with ice, and here's our straw. There you go, my dear. It was absolutely stunning. Every time you turned around a corner, there was something else. That little detail that you would never think of, but Debbie thinks of. Debbie did such a great job. This party is and beautiful. It serves a purpose of bringing everyone we love together and having a great time. It's kind of like a symbol of everyone's love for me and my love for them and it's beautiful. For the last 20 years I have lived for inspiring, sharing, educating, and building connections that bring people together in celebration. I hope you'll accept our invitation to a perfect event. I'm Steve Delinsky, and I really love to eat. I'm a Chicago-based food reporter, writer, and passionate cook. Over the past 15 years, I've won dozens of awards covering the food scene in America's major cities. And I've made friends deep within the foodie world, from short order cooks and celebrity chefs to microbrewers and local bread bakers. You could say I have a big appetite for big city eats. And now it's time to let you into my world. First stop, Chicago. When I'm jogging, when I'm out early and alone, 
At first, I will tell you, I could still hear my kids in my head. I could hear the fighting, I could hear the nagging, but very quickly, it became about moving and just focusing on the moment. Not worrying about who's got homework, what's gonna happen tomorrow, who's being picked on. I have grown to really look forward to my morning routine. I can clear my head and get a new perspective. You know, it's everything's gonna be okay. I like knowing that my family's still safely tucked in bed and my extended family or community family is gonna be there at the end of my run for my coffee break. I took a new position in a new company. I have much more responsibility and it's very exciting for me. I take a lot of pride in running an efficient office, a safe office, one that people feel like they have the tools they need to do their job well. I think it's one of the intangible benefits that we provide and we owe to our coworkers to show up for work and not have to think about safety. They're safe here, they can come in, do their job, and achieve their goals, and they deserve that. There's such a great energy living in this city. I get to be exposed to a, a great diversity of, of people. The excitement as people are going about their day is just really invigorating to me. I love the fact that we have access to everything here in the city. We work here, we go to school here. Everything is, is right outside our door, and I think we take that for granted sometimes. When I do stop and think about it and look around, I, I realize I'm home here. I got into the restaurant business because it was uh, one of the passions of my family. We love to eat and we love to go to restaurants. Larry and his brother invested in D.B. Kaplan's as passive investors because they wanted to be in the restaurant business. Soon they realized that they were about to lose their investment. The restaurant was going downhill, so they did what we would all do. They called their mother. My mom moved up from St. Louis to help us. She's been with the company ever since. When you treat people the way you like being treated, and you just do a little extra for them, they'll always remember that and come back. We like to say that we hire people with nice smiles and warm personalities, and that's really what my mother is. In the early 80s, we had this daunting task when we created Spiaggia. So we found Tony Montuano, and we've never looked back. Tony is a world-class Michelin-rated chef, James Beard award-winning chef, and Spiaggia is our jewel, and we're constantly polishing it. Whether it's two people dining here in the restaurant at Spiaggia, or whether it's a large event, it's always the same. It's always about details. We actually walk the talk, and we walk the farmer's market, is what we're doing today, to take a look at product and produce. It's, it's a difference that we really care about what we feed our guests. We love what we do, and it's who we are, believe me. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. It's, it is who we are, you know?